guys how are you i'm so glad to be making a video again for today which i hope is going to be very helpful for all of you whether you're an aspiring uk nurse or you're already here in the uk i'm a bit glammed up today because it's summer so that explains the outfit it's really hot in here right now actually i just came home and i had to grab my iced coffee I so love iced coffee. But anyway, so for today's video, I decided to make one about the apps that you need to download in your mobile phone. Um, these are the apps that I think is going to be useful, like very useful for you guys. This has been the apps that I've been using since I came here in the UK, whether it's related to my personal life, to my work or whatever. So far, there are like 23 apps that I've been using in total. Actually more, but 23 apps that I'm going to share with you are those apps that I believe that are really useful for everyone. So let's get started. Oh, by the way, I am using an iPhone. So I'm not sure if all of the apps are available in the Google Play Store. I mean, these apps are like pretty uh, common. So hopefully it's going to be available in whatever device that you have. The first app that I think you need to download is the map or the Google map. Um, this is very useful here in the UK because most of the people prefer to walk from point A to point B. You know, 15 or 20 minutes walk is really common here in the UK. So you definitely need to have a map. Second app is the city mapper or the tube map. This is mainly used for the trains. If you want to access the schedule of your trains, which routes do you need to take, which train station you need to go to, or train line do you need to go to, then definitely that is going to help you. And it will give you a live schedule of the departure of the trains or whatever. Next app is the train line. So train line is also a train app, but this one is where you can actually get your tickets. I recently um, traveled to the North England. I use the train line app to get my ticket to the, it's like basically booking a plane ticket. Sorry. So you access the app, search for the destination that you want to go to, and then check for the prices. Cheap prices are available as well. And you can book a ticket from there. Now, once you book a ticket, you can get the physical ticket from any train station available, or you can just use the app to show the ticket. Next app is the Uber. Uber is useful for me here in the UK, especially that I've only been here for about three months, right? So there are times that I get lost along the way, especially when I'm traveling alone. And especially if I'm like um, running late to an appointment or whatever. So I do book an Uber. And sometimes if I'm like wearing heels and I don't really want to walk a long way, I get Uber or use Uber. And sometimes I would receive a promotion of like 30% discount on the next 10 rides within London. Uber really works for me. NHS COVID-19 app. Okay, so this app will actually allow you to check into a place that you've been to. For example, if you go to a restaurant or a pub, they're going to ask you to scan a QR code which allows you to check in on that area. Um, some of the restaurants doesn't do that, but I think it is required, right? Because, you know, they can use that to track people that are coming in the restaurant or whatever. You can also use this app to check if you are surrounded by COVID-19 positive people. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Another very useful app is the weather app. So, in my iPhone, there is a built-in weather app that um, you know I can use to check what's the weather today and as you know here in the UK it's very important that you have to know the weather every single day in fact you, you need to look at it like every few hours because the weather here is unpredictable but lately um, when I met a friend um, way up north when I went on my vacation she told me that there's another more accurate weather app that I can download on my phone and that's what we call the Met Office so you can also check it out yourself I've been using that for the past few days and so far it's been more accurate than the built-in weather app in my phone bank apps very important as well so here in the UK like what I've mentioned in my previous vlogs 
we are using cashless transactions in here. For me, I'm using the Barclays and the Monzo. So I do have two banks because Barclays is my main bank and this is where I use to pay my bills and I use that application to send money to the Philippines or to my loved ones. Um, I also use that money to transfer money for rent to my landlord. What else? To pay bills, basically. Um, yeah. And then the Monzo, Monzo um, bank, I use that for my allowance here in the UK. You know, I do separate my expenses in two different banks. So it's very important because you need to use the app to send money to your home country or to your loved ones, right? So for me, um, I've only been here for two months, almost three months. I've only used the bank app for like, I think twice. So I tried using the WISE app. I'm going to put in the link that you can use to, you know, get your transfer fee waived. Um, I think that's what it does. But anyway, yeah, I think you can like um, get a free, you're not gonna get any remittance charge for up to 500 pounds of um, money that you're gonna send to the Philippines or to your home country. So isn't that great? Another uh, remittance app that I use is the Remitly. I'm gonna put the link as well for you to get a discount of 10 pounds when you uh, transfer money to your home country. Um, I remember the rate actually in Remitly is higher compared to other remittance apps. I'm not, I'm not really sure if it's usually like that, but I remember when I sent money last, just last month, I got a rate of about 69.51 pounds, and that's really high compared to other remittance apps where they only offer like 67 or 68 pounds, because you know, one pound is a big deal. Next app that you need to download on your phone is your mobile network. So currently I am using the three um, mobile network. I, I do need the app to be downloaded in my phone because you know, whenever I need to top up, I'm not currently um, subscribed to, what do you call that? A postpaid kind of um, scheme because I've been thinking if should I need one or not really, you know? Anyway, so I'm using a prepaid for my mobile network so I can use the data when I'm outside and I need the app and I need the app if I need to top up so yeah we definitely need to do that okay so other applications that you need to download in your phone are the applications from your work so one of the applications that I use is the allocate me I'm not sure if this is available for all NHS workers or private as well, but this is what our trust uses. So this is where we can access our roster, my schedule for work, if I want to file for a study or a vacation leave, this is what I use as well. And um, it's pretty easy to use it, actually. Another app from work that I use is My ESR. This is where you can access your payslip, have a look at it before you can even get your pay. And I think it's really, really useful, you know, because at least you can, um, you don't have, like, you have the option to either save the payslip on your phone, on your email, or just leave it there and access it anytime. Moving on, Uber Eats or Deliveroo. So if you want to have your food delivered to your house, you can definitely use these apps. I personally haven't tried this because I would prefer going out. I love going out, as you know, but um, some of my friends have tried this and I just checked actually. They, they do offer free delivery of food, minimum of 15 pounds for the food and um, you can get this for those who are new users. So try to sign up now. Amazon, of course, it's very popular here in the UK but i don't order here a lot um i usually just order quality items here for example my coat my boots this is where i got them electronic devices like my headphones i got it from here and uh, i actually am intending to buy a coffee machine from there but not right now definitely not not right now defo not right now 
Okay, I'm not really fond of shopping online clothes. Well, kind of, but it depends on the shop. So for me, I find Sports Direct app very like a necessity for me because I like working out. So that's where I usually get my workout stuff and uh, I even got my dumbbell and my yoga mat from there. From there. I would say that the quality is good, but, but still it's a bit more expensive compared to other shops. But um, it's up to you. Subscribe to iTunes. If you're an iPhone user and you love music, then you would benefit from this iTunes. You know, I tried Spotify app, but I don't really like the playlist that they offer. That's why I stick to the iTunes. I've been using this for years now, like probably six years already. And I only pay like 129 pesos per month. So I don't think that's really a lot, especially that I use music almost every day. So yeah. If you're that kind of person who loves to be active just like me, I would advise you to download Nike Run Club. This is for free and this is, you know, just something to track your um, distance like if you want to run. Um, I usually use this when I hike or when I go to run in the park and, you know, like it runs in the background even if you're not using it. I mean, even if you are not on it, like literally on it, so yeah. Fit on. So this is an app where you can access free exercises. You don't really need to pay anything. And my favorite part is the dancing. I like dancing. Another exercise app that you can download is the Fit. So as uh, the last time that I checked, they are offering like six pounds a month for you to access all of the exercises that they offer, whether it is hit or yoga or whatever. Um, you know just if you're willing to pay for that but I think that's a pretty good deal compared to the gym right and um, the good thing about fit is that you can use it anywhere like if you're just staying at home and you want to work out at home you can do that if you want to work out in the park you can do that as well I mean you can use that app so yeah I think it's like pretty cheap head app if you're like me who loves to listen or watch to self-help um, talks or whatever, I think you will benefit from the TED app. Uh, sometimes I do use the YouTube app to watch this, but you know... <sighs> when I'm cooking, for example, where I can't look at my phone the whole time, then I just listen to it. Podcast, the built-in podcast and iPhone. I'm not sure if there's one in the Play Store, but I really like listening to podcasts. It's the same with TED Talks where I just, you know, listen to it while cooking or laundrying or cleaning the room or whatever. I really find this helpful for me. Lastly is not really something, um, you know, important, I guess. Um, but recently my friend and I started this podcast I don't know like if you want to know the other side of me being not so technical with his vlogs and all then you can download Podbean in your um, phone I'm gonna put in the link of course so my friend and I recently started a podcast and uh, both of us loves talking he's also working here in the UK as a nurse and we created that just to talk about anything under the sun love life career and we are just starting so i do apologize if you will find it a bit amateur but it is really amateur because like i said we're just starting right so all right so that is all Alright, so those are all the apps that I think would be very helpful for you. Um, I'm not sure if I missed something, hopefully not, but if there are more apps that I think is going to be important for us, all of us here um, in the UK, then I would defo let you guys know. I am sorry for the background noise, my window is currently open because again, it's really hot in here. Um, yeah, I guess that's all. I hope that is um, helpful for you guys. 
I will see you on my next vlog. Have a great day. Bye.